newbie reporting for duty with the OG RPK. It was a beast in modern warfare too, really frustrating to go up against. So I decided, let's see how it's migrated to modern warfare 3. Let's take a look at the configuration. First and foremost, I'm starting with a 40 round mag. Now that goes against newbie's normal catechism. But I want to be faster. You can see the reload quickness down to 2.7 seconds. The sprint to fire speed at 201 milliseconds. And the ADS is pretty slow for an LMG. Putting the 40 round mag on it gives me a composite of 343 milliseconds. But a 4.5 meters per second movement speed, which is fairly quick. And an ADS movement speed at the higher end for an LMG at 2.8 meters per second. In general, the RPK gives you 49 headshot damage, 42 in the upper torso, 38, 38, and it makes the target flinch at 0.9 newtons. The effective damage range is decent. It's at 28.2 meters, which is going to be about as far as I need to go in the maps I plan on playing. The minimum damage range extends out to 52.1 meters, and the bullet velocity is a decent 690 meters per second. The fire rate is 600 rounds per minute, so let's do some quick Quick math here 600 rounds per minute 10 rounds per second or 600 divided by 60 equals 10 and a four shot kill because three times 49 does not equal 150 will give us four clicks of a second or four tenths of a second or 400 milliseconds so we should be seeing 400 milliseconds as the time to kill the minimum time to kill for any configuration the demo x2 grip it just helps with recoil and when you look at the recoil it's not a lot it's 16.13 degrees per second kick which is very accurate horizontal recoil is decent at 11.17 degrees per second and at 38 and a half roughly vertical recoil it's easily controllable. The ExoTac stock and you can see it gives us a lot of greens. It's not significant green so I had an extra slot I threw on the stock. Hurts our ADS speed but only 3%. Hurts the crouch movement speed but Grandpa doesn't do a lot of toe sniffing while he's fighting. The SL Skeletor, dad joke, Skeletal vertical grip and that helps a little bit with the recoil a little bit with the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed at 201 milliseconds is a solid time for an LMG. You can see that the hip fire is not good on this weapon. And there it is, the RPK, how it was configured. Let's take it on to the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa. Before getting into the shooting, let's take a look at some numbers. Green is good for the RPK compared to the DG-58, which is kind of current meta. Red is bad. Red is that's highlighted you should take note of 257 rounds per minute more for the DG-58 but the damage is higher as is the target flinch the punch delivered by the RPK so you need to keep that into consideration obviously the kill times are going to be faster for the DG-58 but that's not the only thing you should consider ranges 9.1 meters further for the RPK for the effective damage range and minimum damage range is 10.5 meters further. So if you extend the shot, the RPK will actually, in some instances, kill a lot faster. And we calculated with our math, 400 millisecond time to kill, that's what we got. When you look at recoil and performance, gun kick to me is the significant number here and the RPK wins. Now there's a lot of red, but it's very, very close and I'm not really all that concerned. The aim down sight speed though and sprint to fire speed significantly better for the DG-58, but the reload time for the 40 round mag is one full second faster for the RPK, which to me is very significant and free for all. So our first free-for-all was on emergency and it kind of turned out to be an emergency for old grandpa in the first quarter of that of that engagement because uh, he got gacked a few times we bought the farm but you can see that the rpk is a great standoff weapon and it feels a lot like a cast off or an ak-47 and it kind of looks like one and it's built probably along the same lines on the same 
design. Little jump shot there. And we gain a little bit of a lead approaching the halfway of the game, trying to hold people at distance a little bit. I was very confident with the RPK and it felt like I was shooting fast. It felt like I was delivering a punch and it felt like I got shot in the back that time. But Grandpa, he's gonna go back and find this back shooter and jump up and gack him. There's so many people to shoot that it's, sometimes it's hard to figure out who to shoot first. Maintaining a bit of a lead at the halfway point, and the RPK is performing quite well. I don't understand why more people don't use it. I mean, it was one of the mainstays of Modern Warfare 2, and it was really hard to fight against because it could reach out and touch you. Whereas your weapon probably could do better, whatever weapon I carried, not your weapon, my weapon, could probably outperform the RPK closer in, but not at distance. And the horizontal recoil, there's a, I accidentally, I guess, executed the guy with the dog. If you strafe side to side, you don't worry about that horizontal recoil because I found that the aim assist was fairly sticky there. It could have been my imagination, but what is perceived as true is true in its consequences. So we're still maintaining a pretty decent lead in this game, and the RPK is performing admirably. It's performing. What is this? It's this guy. I'm going to go back and get him. If you camp against Grandpa, you better move because I will give up all my remaining lives to come back and say hello and p allow you to pay your debt. So I felt pretty comfortable, like I said, with the weapon. I didn't notice that it was particularly aiming down sight slow. You saw that that was pretty much a hip shot. And by the way, I'm going to have a bonus game after the F4 pops its chute and rolls out. I'll let you know I only dump my chute once on landing roll. That's a bad thing. You dump your chute accidentally on the runway. You got to shut down the runway and somebody has to go out and collect it. And we won. And it was a Snickers victory. And you can see Grandpa didn't break much of a sweat there. But the next lobby is going to be a lot more challenging. So you can see that you can fire while you're aiming down sight, and it's very, very accurate. So that was one under the boards, and RPA was, or RPA, RPK was about to look like a permanent class. But here's a bigger test, and that's not a very good start to a free-for-all. Zero one, and you know that one is you being gacked. There's a hop along Amazonian warrior there. So, the reason I said it's a, a good test of the RPK is that you know we're going to have a lot closer engagements here. And I didn't think the RPK was particularly suited to close engagements. But anything suited to close engagements, when the enemy is turned sideways, that guy still almost got old grandpa. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been rude. It's that the Amazonian warrior. Of course, you got the obligatory knifer wearing a shield, of all things. As if knifing isn't already overpowered in Modern Warfare 3, given the 150 health. Not as overpowered and takes a lot more skill under other titles. It's not the knifer's fault. But it's harder to... Ooh, he almost got me. And if that was his Granado, he did get me. So I noticed that I wasn't expecting the RPAK to do very well. In fact, I was expecting to perhaps come in in the middle of the pack because that happens sometimes. And I got, I was hoisted on my own petard. That was my proximity mine, but I did get the knifer. And that guy tried to furry tribble. White furry tribble tried to beat Grandpa down. That's elder abuse. Yeah, sometimes because I force myself to use certain weapons, certain configurations, 
and uh, I can get destroyed. There's no doubt about it. But the right weapon in the right situation makes you almost invincible. I don't know how people can move so fast. I can't once I've been wounded. Yeah, darn. That was bad. Look how fast that person moved. They were on a PC. So we're maintaining a slim lead here, and I was surprised because, like I said, I didn't, ex didn't expect the RPK to perform. And that there's the Amazonian warrior, the fast mover. And it kind of helps me make a point that one somebody commented that it doesn't matter in multiplayer that all weapons perform the same and nothing could be further from the truth. Number two, what uh, what is multiplayer but a microcosm of ranked, of uh, search, of anything else you can think of? Now, you got to choose weapons based on your play style, based on the map, based sometimes on what your team is carrying, if you're partied up. And then not only do you vary your weapons, under those situations, but you also vary your attachments. I change my attachments quite often. RPK bulldog that person. So to say that it doesn't matter in multiplayer, all the weapons are the same, is an indicator that either one, it's kind of a joke and trolling funny. And that's what I took it as, somebody knowledgeable that was just making a joke. Or number two, they're just not really aware that you change your weapon, you change your attachments based on the situation in the field. One more gack, and Grandpa takes home another Snickers win. And I cheesed it. I think it must have gotten that with a Mosquito Drone, because I had put one out earlier. They usually gack old Grandpa. But I think the RPK has earned a permanent slot on Grandpa's roster. At least I have a permanent build for it. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace. And let me know in the comments if you try the RPK and what your results are because I'm pretty excited that this weapon's still good. See ya. Hostile UAV in the area.
the lead. Keep it up. Mission time is half over. Maintain the lead. UAV active. 30 seconds left. We've secured the field. Mission accomplished. <laughs>